What is up guys, welcome back to Too Much Tech. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Logitech G910 Orion Spectrum. <laughs> that name is long, G910, Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. This is Logitech's highest end keyboard and it's got a lot of features that we're gonna go over today. number one the RGB because of course on a keyboard that's the only thing that matters is just how good the colors look on the keys well I'm glad to tell you that the colors are fantastic obviously the difference between a Logitech keyboard and like a Razer or a Corsair keyboard or like a really cheap RGB keyboard is that like basically the lights are gonna shine through the keycaps they don't really shine around the lights like too much at all but they really do a really good job at like shining through the keycaps and it's a lot easier to see at night just reading the text through the keycaps as compared to like maybe a razor or a corsair where you're gonna see the light through the keycap it's super duper bright because around the keycap is also lit up so rgb lights done very well and the logitech software they got a lot of like really cool things that you can do with it very similar to razors not as in depth as razor synapse but does the job using the keyboard i'm not gonna lie is extremely comfortable the only thing i'm gonna knock on the comfort is that i wish the little like built-in wrist rest was a little bit longer and taller and maybe soft. Other than that, the keyboard is extremely comfortable to use. The travel time is kinda on the shorter side, so I think it's good because I feel like you're actuating the key a little bit faster, which is always good for gameplay. So, of course, you want that fastest response. Feels like it has like a very short actuation time, so I think that this would actually be very advantageous if you wanna be an MLG Pro. Wait! As far as the sound of the keyboard, it's not very loud. Like if you have a microphone, you can always like move your mic up a little bit if you don't want your friends to hear your keyboard on Discord, because it's really annoying. If you guys have Razer keyboards, uh, get anything other than the green switches and don't buy a Razer Huntsman Elite because it's super loud. But yeah, these keys are quiet and um, yeah, they're quiet, they sound good. I don't know what else to say. This keyboard has a lot of like really, really neat novelty features. Like it's got some extra macro keys. It's got some media functions. Like it's got like this little scroll wheel for the volume. Like that is so nice. Like that should be mandatory on every keyboard. Every keyboard should have like a little volume, like scroll wheel, like this one does, because that junk is super duper nice. Like just having a super quick way to turn down the volume on the keyboard, not having to hold the FN key or go to the window settings or whatever. Just having a super quick toggle is is dope. It's dope. It's fantastic. And then also, you know, like the play, fast forward, rewind buttons for like Spotify or whatever music you're listening to. That's fantastic addition. Good job, Logitech. They're big. Good placement. I think those have RGB too, if I'm not mistaken. And then it's also got like this little phone holder too. So, I mean, if you want to make sure you stay up to date with your notifications while you're playing your game you can set your phone down right there and uh keep track of that while you're playing if that's necessary and um yeah like that's pretty much it the only thing i can really knock the keyboard for is like maybe maybe not having a removable cable that's like the only thing or actually, oh, you know what? Not having a removable braided cable because the cable is not braided. Literally the only thing I could think of that I could say that's kind of like bad, bad about the keyboard. Other than that, it's a fantastic keyboard. If you like Logitech and you want something that's got a little bit of, a little bit of spice to it, like you don't want a basic Logitech keyboard, this is definitely the one to get. It's a little bit more on the expensive side. All right, all right, hold the phone, hold the phone. Kyle from the future here, okay? post-production Kyle look I just checked the prices on Amazon and a couple other sites because I wanted to see how much this keyboard had gone down or just how much it was selling for since like the last time I checked last time I checked I think it was around like 130 150 ish somewhere around there and I just looked on Amazon they have the Orion Spectrum the keyboard that I'm reviewing uh right now the spark is a little bit different the spectrum is like the revised version of the spark they fixed everything that like people didn't really love but the spark from the couple differences that i've seen like literally a couple little wrist rests at the bottom and the keycaps 
were like really the only two major differences that got changed. So largely, if you want a new keyboard, this one sits a little bit lower than a couple other company or what a couple other companies are selling it for. $112 for the Orion Spark. If you kind of like the way the keycaps look, they're kind of angled so they look, you know, a little weird, but still pretty good. And then uh, the Spark is what we're looking at today. So you see a lot of text website, full price is 179 and then uh, refurbished, if you want a refurbished one, is $87, which is fantastic. Yeah, I mean like $87 for this keyboard, that's that's really good. If you want a new one, 119 which is not bad as well. So still like 60 bucks less than full price. I think they've had some good sales on it recently. I've seen on Amazon there. They've been pretty good, so I'll drop a link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. But um, yeah, G910 Orion Spectrum, definitely a good buy. Thank you guys so much for coming through to the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you guys are new, I will catch you guys in the next one.